Higgins Expeditions into the Supernatural and Unknown are sponsored today by Traffic Puzzle. The game is free and supports my channel. Checking the link in the description, a very good decision. Let me tell you a little story about what happened after I started playing At this game. At first it looked like another relaxing match three game. And then it surprised It started getting more difficult after level 25. Just like my 20s I could did. best my 20s. I could surely best this game. I'm kidding, you're all 12. So what is Traffic Puzzle all about? Well, let me tell you. It's an interesting combination of match three and visual riddles combined together to make a very interesting game. Don't believe me? Just ask my wonderful assistant. Take it away, Mom. I love playing this game. I love solving all of these complex puzzles. So many different levels and challenges. Every level is different. It makes it super satisfying to solve. The game is totally free, so download it using my link in the description below. Get to level 42 and tell me how you beat it. Because I'm kind of stuck there right now. Arataka approved. This doesn't look familiar. Where are we? Yeah, there's a gun on there. <laughs> Alternatively, we have to jump this fence. Where did Mob go? Kageyama? Let's talk about your journey that you just went through. There was definitely some spiritual presences. One was rather agitated and I could feel it choking me a little bit. Master Reagan, could you explain to us your spirits and such consultation office and why you wanted to start this YouTube series? Spirits and such consultations started as a way to help people. And really that's what this is all about. And now we're starting a YouTube series so that we can reach a broader audience. So what we're testing today is this app that I've developed, which I have not yet named, but it might be called Rando Spirit. Is this thing on? Welcome to Reagan's super psychic YouTube channel. Hit that notification button. Is that what people say, Mom? I don't know. I don't, know. I don't watch the internet. Well, it's time to start Hello. watching. All right, we're doing what the kill kids do. Hello. All right, so I've invented this app to find ghosts. We're gonna use our quantum brain power. The process uses theoretical mind matter interaction paired with quantum entropy to test the strange entanglement of consciousness with observable reality. You know what I'm saying, right, Mob? We'll just pay attention, it'll be fine. We're gonna manifest some things today. I'm manifesting the color yellow and a ghost. Mob, get off your phone. Sorry. Mob, what are you manifesting today? I don't know. Tara? Uh, chicken. We have a generated point. What's manifesting? Do Manifestation is a very tricky business. Uh, if you do it wrong, there's a lot that could go wrong there. So really you should leave it to the professionals. Manifesting is basically, if you want a chicken sandwich, you manifest a chicken sandwich and then you have the chicken sandwich, kind of thing. I wanted a chicken. Where's your headlamp, Mob? I got you one. None of the headlamps worked. The what? batteries were broken. I told Tara this before he put it on his head, what but he did name? it anyways. Is this the place, Master? I don't know. We haven't gotten there yet. Can I go down this street? Well, you're about to. Is this a- I don't know. Oh, this is not a toy. <laughs> I'm sensing suspicious energy. And the color yellow, I've manifested it. Look at that. Where's the chicken? I don't know where the chicken is yet. My manifestation has brought me to this business. Feeling anything, Mob? I feel capitalism. Well, yes, that is a side effect of traveling in the city. Hold on, I saw a good spot. Where, I see are, where are we going? We got to our point, but it seemed like a bad point to me. I'm feeling the, the manifestation is moving me this way. No parking. Well, shit, what, what's the parking <laughs> space for Mom. then? Yes. Why is there no parking sign where I clearly should be able to park? I don't know, I'm not an urban developer. No. This is the dumbest urban development that I've ever seen. Sorry. This is why ghosts don't like us, Mob. It's the urban development. Currently, my assistant Mob is asking his pendulum if I can speak to the spirit. This is Cha-Cha. Cha-Cha says it's okay. Excellent. Now it's time to find some ghosts. The first location was probably... I'm not gonna say the worst because at the very least we were able to go to this location, but it was really boring. Here it is, our energy spots. Do you detect any spirits, Mob? No. How about you? Yeah. No. I've developed this app. It's called Talk And it has an energy field detector on it. We'll see if we can find any energies. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, well it's not doing it anymore. The whole hole was lighting well, up. Well then. It's gone now. I've scared it off with my prowess. So it ended up being a very common pipe spirit that we saw on our Toctic app when we took a look around. There wasn't anything there really. I sensed a slight presence in the tunnels, but it seemed pretty benign. Oh, more yellow. Wow, I'm really manifesting pretty well today. That's impressive. No chicken. 
Well, Teru, we're not all masters at uh, manifestation, so. Well, Mob, take over my energy sourcing while I ask the pendulum cha-cha if we have any chickens, dead chickens here. Oh, pendulum, cha-cha. Are there spirits among us? <coughs> cha-cha. Why has it gotta have a name like that? This pendulum work that we were doing down in the pipes is some very tricky business. Some pendulums will like to help you find spirits and some pendulums decide to go the more evil route and go to the dark side where they will not tell you much about the spirits within your presence because they don't want them to be found. Mob, maybe you need to try. Master Reagan didn't know how to use the pendulum. It's pretty strong, no. No spirits? You try chickens? Also no. On to the next spot. This is my first episode and we have to find something to exorcise, otherwise I look like a total idiot. I'm seeing if there's another spot we could go to. Let's see if we can generate more power this time. Our point is being generated. Manifest anything you want. A lake and a chicken. Big house. So when I was talking about manifestation earlier, there are some issues with that sometimes. Um, so part of Master Reagan's app requires manifestation. I don't really know how it works, but Master said you just kind of imagine something that you want. So, um, I envisioned a big house. And he got a big house. No, what's, they have to have a card. What's the issue? Uh, we've manifested such a large home that you cannot get into it without a proper pass. Residence only. We can yeah, park we can away walk. from it and walk to it. Because we have to go over oh. the water. Alternatively, we have to jump this fence. And I don't really feel like getting taken to prison again this week. It's too big of a house, we manifested Mom. too hard, Mom. You're gonna need to tone that down a little bit for the series, you know, just to make sure that you're not outshining anybody here and so that we can keep things realistic. You know, we can't have people being like, oh, there's no way you could have done that because, you know, that's a large house. Okay. Let's manifest something that we can get into. So no big houses and not a lot of money, something abandoned or a some field. We have a point. We have eight minutes to go on our journey. Something more interesting than what we've been finding would be great, Master. Uh, it's not an exact science, Mom. You can't always find something interesting. Why Sometimes not? the most uninteresting things are, in fact, the most interesting things that you could find. Oh, it's abandoned! <laughs> it is! Yes! It is! Are we gonna go in, Master? Yeah. Oh, was there a gun on Yeah, there's a gun on there! <laughs> Oh, it says, never mind the dog, beware of owner. That's horrifying. <laughs> well, we're not gonna go past this, we're just gonna look around. If anybody asks, I've gotten lost, terribly lost. We're not going past the fence or anything. I am not legally responsible for any children that may or may not get harmed during this adventure. We definitely did not trespass. But I did let the two kids go because they're smaller and faster. If they can dodge their bullets, I as a spiritual leader cannot. But these two kids with psycho powers definitely have a better chance than I do. So I thought that I would leave the reconnaissance to them. I mean, this is pretty creepy if you think about it. The kids are going in, and I've decided that I'm horrified. Oh, oh, Kageyama is going for it. What do you see? It's just an abandoned store. Yeah. Oh, look, it's chained up. Well, Mom, can you feel anything? I kind of feel a little bit, you know? Uh, I don't feel anything good. That's the vibe I get from this abandoned building. And how was the search? It was good. We didn't really find anything worth no noting. Uh huh. No spirits? Did you ask the pendulum? No, but I mean, I could pick up on some spiritual energy, but it's just an abandoned location. They like to hang out there. Oh. Any furniture ghosts? The box ghost? So, uh, since my assistants checked it out, I feel no need to go in there myself. Thought I would stay in the car in the event that uh, trouble arose. You know how it is. Places like this. So what was the next place that you went? Our next point was in the middle of the deep, dark forest. We were looking for some place to park near the next point, which was in the middle of the woods. Um, and we parked under a sketchy bridge that closed at dusk, whatever that means. How was your final uh, spiritual point? Our journey to the point was very tiring and difficult. 
I thought it was a chicken coop, but it's- he did encounter a cage large enough for a small child, so definitely some evil spirits working there. This is cryptic. The way that this is cleared out kind of makes me- Oh, there's- Do you feel anything, Mop? That is strange. Reagan, what are you doing? Testing out the climbing capabilities of this tree. Looks stunning against the light, Master Reagan. Oh, thank you. What's that blue thing over there? Oh uh, yes, the slide of all paranormal activity. It smells bad, whatever it is. The point's this way. All right, well, here we go. On the adventure of a lifetime. And then we had to go through the deep dark woods with many thorns. Some spirits have powers over trees and foliage. So clearly it was trying to keep us away from whatever it is that we were going towards with this point. Oh, there's a spot mob. Ah. We'll just go through it. No, it's like, that's a spider right there. What if get, get just, a stick? It's just hanging out. All right, it's clear. Path is clear. Mob is already all the way eye. up there. You look stunning, Master Reagan. Thank you. And we got caught in a lot of brush, which wasn't very good. It ruined Master Reagan's suit a little bit. But he orders them on Amazon, and they're pretty inexpensive, so I think it'll be okay. At least that's what Dimple tells me. Mob, Mob, what are you doing? I'm cutting off the thorns for Master Reagan. Thank you, Mob. As an assistant show. Ah! I'm not the only one who's getting caught up in these thorns. Oh! Oh! Ooh. Got a spider on you. <gasps> Do I? No. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Excellent idea, Mob. Marking the trail. Thank when you. did you take a wilderness uh, survival course? Honestly, Master, it's just common sense. Mob is one step ahead, as always. All right, we're reaching the point. Hard, hard to, to get, get through, through the very path. It's just a Here difficult path. Little... Mob's just Here in the background. Oh, Exciting. That's the second can. The up there was, there's, there's one by the there's one by the we tree. Were... Do you feel negative energy on it? I'm feeling more negative energy the deeper we go. Uh, yeah, it's a woods. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> Wait, wait. Don't don't say anything out loud, please. Yeah, I'd be careful about saying anything. That's definitely not a, uh, a tag. Kageyama, uh, Master Reagan lost the point, so we don't know where we're going now. On our way there, we encountered many strange symbols and iconographies. You know, you could be placing these things. You need to be careful. If it activates something you don't know about. I trust you, Mob, but... I really do think that somebody was trying to raise a spirit from the netherworld and destroy something there. I just feel like we can get a little, like, farther. What's that sound? During part of the time in the brush, um, there was definitely some spiritual presences, but I just put up a shield to deflect them because they really weren't worth our time. But one was rather agitated, and I could feel it choking me a little bit. Yeah, here. You're good to go. Oh, I've made it. Yes. Hi, Reagan Arataka. Um. Where did Mob go? Mob. Kageyama? Oh, he's over there. Eventually, we reached a clearing area. Oh. This is it. This is the point. Mob. Mob, do you feel anything? And there was a basketball that had the spirit of Troy Bolton attached to it. Troy Bolton? Ah, oh, we manifested the wrong thing. Spotted raccoons. Well, they're not exactly spirits, Mob, but I feel like they're not too far off. All right, here we are. We're in the space, and I'm doing my clock tick meter of energy. Nothing. I mean, I felt most of the stuff in the woods. I was checking periodically through the woods, didn't find anything. Mm. Must have been too weak for me to uh, pick up. Mm. But did you bring any salt? did! Well, we better perform an exorcism just in case I can't feel anything because it's too weak. Excellent. Thank you, Mob. Well, since there's no real spirit here, I'm just gonna kind of toss it in a general direction. Blinding salt splash! <laughs> right, there's not always a big flash of lightning that's pretty normal. Do you want to do something about the raccoons? Be gone, foul beasts. We're bothering Troy Bolton. 
or trying to become Troy Bolton. I'm not sure which. Either one, it's very suspicious. Always trust your intuition, and my intuition says that Raccoon was the major villain of that Fuller Forest, but I did not exercise it. Master Reagan tried, but I really don't think he did much. Somebody watching this? And this is the part where we leave. <laughs> Look, I think that's the tunnel that we were talking about earlier. Whoa! We're gonna be crouching for a while, guys. Well, do we want to take this path or no? Yeah. Yeah? Say that again, Mob! It's a dance. There's a bunch of like weird dots yeah. on this tree. Yeah, this might... Huh, this might not be a good path. Huddle, you know? I uh, was trying to lead the boys in the correct direction. I have a very good sense of direction. Unfortunately, the boys decided to start going a different way, and me as a responsible adult could not leave them alone. The sun's going down. We're definitely still trying to get out of these woods. Another can sighting. What does it say? I'm not saying it out loud. Ah, beavers. Stop it. I'm beginning to believe that we're never going to make it back to the car before the sun sets. Uh, I don't know if I can get through here. It's a little small. Master Reagan is uh, still behind us. I kind of lost them somewhere in the woods. This wouldn't be the first time this has happened. Master Reagan! <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> this is humiliating. I'm a, a ghost exorcist hunter, not a wilderness explorer. <laughs> Uh, choosing the path more traveled by, I guess. Robert Frost lost this one. Yes, Mom, how do you know this is the right path? I recognize that styrofoam block. Excellent. I manifested some more yellow. I feel like we've been in here for ages. It all seems the same to me now. It's been hours. I'm thirsty. And eventually we'll get out of here and hopefully get the car before it gets locked in the gate where we parked. We have till dusk. That's our timeline. I feel like we're nearing dusk. The signs were warning us about the vampires that come out after dark around this area, which is why there's such a high spiritual energy. We really did need to get to the car before dusk. Master Reagan! I'm coming! We see the exterior, at least, maybe. Is that a net? My foot's stuck. It's all right. We're, we're okay. Just extract the thorn. It's all right. I see. Oh, we're getting to the, the trail. We're, we're almost there. Get out of the way, Kageyama. Get out of the way. I'm gonna get out. I've never seen a human move like that without Esper powers before. Finally. <laughs> Thought we were gonna be lost in there forever. Oh. Oh. Well, we didn't find any ghosts, I'm not worried about the ghosts anymore, Kageyama. We made it out of the woods. We were so close yet so far from the bear trap. And we took this route where we all, all the way around. So we did take a shortcut, a very painful one. Let this be known, I'm never going on any adventures again with these two. God. I'm a city boy, not a are you forest just, boy. Are you just ranting now? Listen, my YouTube isn't a place for you to rant. And this is Reagan Arataka signing off on this very uh what's the word, Mom? You exercised raccoons. I exercised raccoons, and really they are a nuisance, so you're welcome, yeah, random Troy neighborhood. Bolton. Yeah, Troy Bolton's ghost was definitely haunting those woods. Catch us next time. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. Did you think of my exorcism? I threw some salt on the ground and I feel like, oh God, there's bugs everywhere. Oh, all right, that's it. That's it. I'm done with the nature. I'm done. Thanks so much to Traffic Puzzle for sponsoring today's episode. Don't forget to click the link in the description below so that you can play too. This is better than the radio.